Hello again, grade 12 students. Welcome back to another exciting lesson on Practical Research 2. Our today's lesson is about background of research. At the end of this module, you are expected to state the background of your research. Background of the study This part of research includes information which would focus attention on the importance and validity of the problem. It is the general orientation to the problem area. A brief rationale to justify the problem must be provided. And this is the present state of knowledge regarding the problem. It should answer these questions. 1. What facets of the problem or phenomenon are known? And what need further investigation? Next, what approaches have been used previously in the research of the problem? For a good background, the researcher can state the antecedents of the study, the reasons why this topic is proposed relative to previous studies. The background includes discussion of the problem in general and the specific situations as observed and experienced by the researcher, a macro to micro approach. The concepts and ideas related to the problem, including clarification of important terminologies and the discussion of the existing or present conditions and what is aimed to be in the future or the gap to be filled in by the researcher. The statement of the problem. This is the basic difficulty, the issue, the area of concern, the circumstances which exist, then how they ought to be. The researcher should give the background which led to the circumstances that exist. Briefly describe the condition or situation that exists which is perceived as something less than the ideal or what it should be and how you see it to be. It should answer the following questions. What are the reasons for this circumstance? Is it answerable or possible to be solved or changed? And what are the specific problems that the study aims to answer? The statement of the problem tells what is done to make the situation that exists more like what it should be. It exposes anything that is wrong with the situation or condition or circumstance which is being described. It has two main elements, the objective and the research questions. Let's discuss the objectives or purpose of the study. The objective or purpose of the study is the first part of the problem where the researcher states the objective. This is a statement of a long-term objective expected to be achieved by the study. This is derived by the identification and crystallization of the research problem and as reflected in the title. It is prefixed by these introductory phrases. Example, the main objective of this study is to research questions or investigative problems. The specific questions which are to be answered in the study are called research questions or investigative questions and are all in question form. The answers to the research question should lead to the solution of the research problem. Is the objective or purpose of the study observable, measurable, or verifiable? 
Focus on a clear objective or goal. State the precise goal. The problem should be limited enough in making a definite conclusion possible. The major statement or question may be followed by minor statements or questions. The introductory statement must be the purpose or aim or the objective of the study. Example, is specifically the study aims to determine the causes of low performance of selected pro programs in the board examinations. Further, it seeks to answer to the following sub-problems, 1, 2, 3, etc. Number 2, if the goal is specifically to test a given hypothesis, then state so. In many cases, the objective will be a more general statement than that of a hypothesis. Example, the primary objective of this study is to test the hypothesis that there is a relationship between workplace condition and teaching performance of faculty members. Number three, investigative questions are the specific topical questions that one must resolve to achieve research objective or test the research hypothesis. Example, this study attempted to evaluate the status and extent of the implementation of the computer education program in the Division of Results School Year 2015-2016 to as perceived by teacher and student respondents. Specifically, this sought answers to the following questions. 1. What is the profile of the respondents in terms of 1.1 for teacher respondents, 1.1.1 sex, 1.1.2 field of specialization, 1.1.3 educational attainment, 1.1.4 length of service, and 1.1.5 computer education seminar or training attended. 1.2 student respondents, 1.2.1 sex, 1.2.2 monthly family income, 1.2.3 parents' educational background, 1.2.4 accessibility to computer, and 1.2.5 performance in English and mathematics. Number two, what is the extent of the computer education program implementation? as perceived by the teacher respondents with respect to objectives and content of instruction, teaching competencies, learning competencies, methods of teaching employed, and computer facilities. Take note of how this is written. Number three, what is the extent of the computer education program implementation as perceived by the student respondents with respect to objectives and content of instruction, teaching competencies, and learning competencies. That ends our lesson today. Thank you so much for listening. Keep safe by staying at home. See you again next time.